is my nether base. A beautiful house built almost entirely out of nether blocks, which gave me a good idea. What if I made an epic building like that for every single biome or structure in the nether? So today, we're gonna build a giant nether city, all in Minecraft hardcore. This is gonna be quite the project. The nether is composed of five biomes and quite a few structures, and hopefully I can incorporate all of them into the city. But that also means we got a ton of work to do. So let's get prepared. So I grabbed some shulker boxes, did some villager trading for extra food, and headed down to the nether. And here we are in the beautiful nether base. Soon to be only one house of many. So first off, I hopped on the roof of the building and began scouting out the area. Okay, I've discovered two things. Number one, I probably built this house in the worst place possible. Because over here it's all lava, and over here it's all forest. And number two, you're really pretty. <laughs> but that being said, if I do tear down some of these trees, we'll have a lot of space to work with. Well, okay, we know what to do. Let's start chopping. This is gonna take a while. And as I deforest the nether, please subscribe and hit the bell. And back it up! I'm gonna build you a city! What is your problem? It can never be easy, can it? Dude, what have I done to you? On second thought, I kinda get it now. Please stop it, after all that terraforming. But okay, check this place out. It's very flat, very open, and we have tons of space to build our city. So that being said, let's begin the planning. So I hopped in a separate creative mode world and began thinking how I want this city to look. I then took out some wool because I love using wool to plan where city buildings are going to go. So that being said, I took my wool and began building a rough floor plan for the nether city. All right, this thing looks pretty good. It might be a little bit bigger, but for the general idea of things, I like it a lot. And next up on the agenda, it was time to pick out the block palettes. So I laid down all the nether blocks I could think of and tried to think what would look good together. And after some thinking, I had some good ideas. Okay, so our nether base is made out of mostly crimson wood. So I think it's only fitting for our first build today to be out of warped wood. And lucky for us, I already have so much warped wood. Thank you, old forest. Now for all these builds, I'm still gonna incorporate some overworld blocks. Just adding a few kinds of stone makes the building pop a lot more. So let's go grab some. Nope. Oh, hello? Why are you guys all down here? Stupid nether mobs, man. But carrying on, we flew down to a nearby cave and collected a ton of deep slate and tough for our nether build. Do all the mobs hate me? Stop it! Okay, I'm out of here. Bye. So I flew back, mined a few more trees down, and began building the warped building. And while designing this build, I made sure it was very similar in size to the crimson building. And the purpose of it is to have a place for all the citizens to sleep and live in. Think of it like a hotel. What? What the heck? Is that a glitch or is that supposed to happen? But there we have it, a B- don't ruin this. I hate the mobs in this dimension. As I was saying, a beautiful house fits for a king. Or a chicken zombie thing. But yeah, this building is meant to house all the citizens of my city. But anyways, the first house today has been completed. On we go. Next up, we want to make a build that is themed after the Soul Sand Valley. This will be an interesting one because the block palette isn't great. Soul Sand, Bones, Blue Fire. This will be a challenge for sure. And for this build, I don't want it to be just like a house. I want it to be like a watchtower. So something kind of like my emerald watchtower over there, but soul sand theme. So the question is, do I have any soul sand? Not really. Well, do I have any bones? Why am I so bad at Minecraft? I swear, for as cool as my world is, I never have any materials in my chest. But that didn't stop me. I made some fireworks and headed out to go find the soul sand valley. Oh, and before I leave, I almost forgot the beds for this place. Boom, 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 boom. I'll have to organize this more later, but for now, it worked. What? Oh my gosh, I forgot you can't use beds in the nether. No, don't burn down, please. I just built you. I literally have zero IQ. No, chicken baby, don't escape. No, please come back. I swear it'll never happen again. It was just a gas leak. <clears throat> Problem solved. Oh, I probably should get another totem, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Can you imagine if I lost this world to a piglin? And boom, thank you very much. On we go. Okay, no more interruptions. Let's go find ourselves a soul sand valley. And after flying around for a whole 30 seconds, I found one. Oh, and just like that, we have found one. Oh, you walk so slow. I hate this. But let's stay on track. I need soul soil, soul sand, and a lot of these bone blocks. I have a sick plan for these. Ah, I hate this project already. I despise you giant jellyfish. Hate you. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Hold on, I'm getting soul speed. Hello, friends. Do you have any soul speed? Oh, yes, you do. I just couldn't take it anymore. I was so slow. All right, hello, library. Where's the anvil? Boom, boom. Too expensive? What do you mean? 
teeth. I only have four enchantments on it. I hate it here. But in the end, I sucked it up and got the soul sand. Okay, we're finally ready. That took forever. But now we can build the soul sand tower and I'm gonna build it right here over the beacon to cover it up. Two birds, one stone. Not literally, it's an expression. But okay, let's go. Now this tower came out insane, but the purpose of it is actually really cool. This watchtower is to alert the citizens if they see ghasts in the air. Kind of like a weatherman, but for ghasts. Now that there is so cool. And the craziest part is, if not for the nether roof, I would have made this thing so much taller. But this stupid netherrack up here got in the way, so it is what it is. But the hopeful idea is if I see a ghast, I come up here and I go, wapow. Oh, ghast, it's time for the test. Die. Yes. Ooh. Oh, another one. You're dead. I love this tower so much. Ah, stop doing this to me. Okay, so at this point, we have three of the five nether biomes done. But I still gotta make a build for the basalt deltas and the nether waste. So let's start with the basalt. The basalt deltas are home to a lot of lava. Now tell me, what's the one mob in the game that loves lava? You guessed it, striders. So for the basalt build, I wanna make a strider stable. Kind of like a stable for horses, but those are like nether horses. Let's do it. So I gathered a few materials like basalt and magma blocks. But the bigger question was, how can I make a barn out of these blocks? So I hopped back in my creative mode world and began experimenting. And by the end, I was so proud of my work because it looks like a barn, but it still has that nether theme we're going for. Move, please. I hate nether mobs. But there we have it, the basalt barn. It looks very creepy and like haunted almost. Like a very spooky vibe, but I do love it. And we have four spots for striders. So how are we gonna do this? Can I put them on a lead by any chance? Come on. Oh, it works. I can lead him. All right, sweet. Follow me this way. Yes, come on. Hop inside of here and hop in this cell. And boom, there we go. One strider down. Why are you shaking? Oh, wait a minute. He needs lava. And boom. Nope, that's not for you. Now time to get three more. And this was actually pretty easy to do. The striders were all really cooperative, except for one. Ignore him. Carrying on. Perfection. Everybody's happy. Side note, there are too many pigmen in this area. I'll settle this. Everybody come this way. Oh, there's so many of you. You stand no chance against me. And that takes care of that. And I'll save you some time here. The final biome I didn't build was the nether waste biome. And very simply put, this building is like the city storage. So it contains all the extra building materials and food supply. And also, while terraforming for the build, I found a piece of ancient debris. Weird, but cool. And there we have it. We have one one building for every single biome in the nether. But that being said, we're not even close to being done yet. I want to add so much more to make the city come way more to life. And I got some really cool ideas. But before we get to that, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 40,000 likes, I would make a Minecraft rap. And I'm not gonna lie, I might have been a little bit too ambitious with this one. Sadly, we did not get enough likes, but that being said, I'm still gonna do it. Because honestly, I'm super excited to try and make a rap. So let's Let's do it. Okay, where do I begin? Well, I guess I gotta start by finding a beat. Hip hop and rap, sure. Let's give it a listen. That sounds epic. And now that we have our beat, we gotta think of lyrics. I am the best at playing Minecraft. That was so trash. But after taking some time to really think about it, I was loving our progress. Oh, this is getting good. And eventually I finished the rap and even got visuals. Enjoy. Stacking this paper and mining these diamonds. My hardcore world is literally the finest. Minecraft YouTubers call me your highness. You wanna L build me? You must be blinded. Creepers run in fear of their life. Zombies will burn at my own sight. Far as the videos do be the greatest. Subscribe so you catch the latest. I be building all the cool farms. Manual labor is not in the cards unless I'm making a giant mansion or even a house in another dimension. Carnival cities and even a planet. Hardcore mode? Far as you just ran it. My builds do be the craziest things my hands always hurt, but I'm still the king. Look in my chests, they be all full. Tons of views, Farsi will pull. I'm only 5'8", and that's kind of short, but stand on my diamonds and now I'm 6'4". Dragons or withers, it do not matter. Even the warden, Farsi will shatter. This rap could be an L, but make sure you like and go hit the bell. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Please don't show my friends or family in real life, because that'd be awkward. But that being said, if this video gets 30,000 likes, I will make a giant TNT cannon, shoot myself up, and try and land it with 
with an MLG water bucket. What could possibly go wrong? Well, getting back on track, let's talk about those details I want to add. So right now, I have a house for every kind of biome in the nether. But I also want to make a few builds for structures, like the fortress or the bastion. So let's take a trip real quick. Hello there. And I'll just grab some of this. Hello there, don't kill me. Please go away. Fly over this way. Hello there. And grab some of this as well. Oh, I want that. This is my favorite block in the game. Gilded Blackstone. And now we pop back over here to our town and we begin building a few small houses. All right, these things are decent. Like the Bastion house is pretty good. You can tell it's for a Bastion, but the Fortress house is a little bit weird. I'm not a huge fan of it. I did add some fences up here to make it a little bit more recognizable, but overall, probably my least favorite of all the builds I've done today. But that being said, I'm still super happy because we now have all the actual buildings done. So now it's time to focus on the middle of the city, right here in this big open area. I got a surprise for you guys, and it's gonna be legendary. But first, I gotta go heal up my tools. These things are gonna break. So I flew all the way to my Enderman XP farm. <laughs> Okay, better, but I still need to fix my sword. So if I go into my library and I grab a mending book, can I put this on my sword? Please, please, please. <gasps> I can. Boom. And just like that, brand new sword. Hello, Skulk Planet. How you doing? I'm gonna build more planets here one day, but not today. I'm very busy today. So let's get back to that big surprise I talked about. In this world, I've made quite a few custom trees already. So I think it'd be really cool to have a giant nether themed tree right in the middle of our city. So for the third time today, I hop back in my creative mode world and began planning. I don't know which one I like. But after a while, I made a decision. We're gonna use nether wood and glowstone. Okay, so how are we gonna get all this glowstone? I guess we'll start mining. I got a feeling this is gonna take a long time. Wait, why am I mining this stuff? Can't I trade it with villagers? Hold on, that could save me so much time. Because mining glowstone is not that fun. Oh, villagers, I'm in desperate need of some help. Who here trades glowstone? Take some of that. Please work. <gasps> glowstone. Oh, that is so helpful. Okay, we have our plan. So I sat there and traded for glowstone until I ran out of emeralds. So I had to go get some more. Off to the good old-fashioned raid farm. Aha, raid farm. In we go. And there it is, that giant monstrosity in the sky. If you guys are new, you have no idea how OP this farm is. It is so good for getting emeralds. So I sat in my little tower, smacked a few pillagers, and got a ton of emeralds. Now that's a lot better, isn't it? Let's get this glowstone. Now honestly, at this point, I was like 40 hours into the episode, so I was just racing to get the glowstone, get the wood, and finally finish this tree. Alright, it's tree time. And how do we feel about this gigantic glowstone tree? I think it looks absolutely sick. I really do love it. Is that a pigman in there? And let's see it from far away. You can't see it. Stupid nether fog, but regardless, I love it. It's sick. We're good. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this has been a grindy project. I'm already getting a little bit sick of it, but that being said, we're not done yet. I gotta add a road. I gotta add more details. I gotta make the place look more immersive. Let's grind this thing out once and for all. So off I went doing a little bit of resource collecting. My favorite activity, mining obsidian towers. It's so much fun. But here was the moment of truth. I just started going crazy placing down custom roads, custom details, terraforming the entire land, making street lights, making custom nether gardens and plants, clusters of gold, obsidian, tied down trees, even giant fossils. Ladies and gentlemen, it needs no words. This place now looks 10 million times better, so lively, so immersive. I absolutely love everything about it. And it looks like the locals like it too. But we are gonna need a mayor of the city because who's gonna run this place when I'm gone? Is it gonna be you? No. How about you? Nah. Wait, there's only one man for the job. Come on, where is he? I know he's around here somewhere. Could it be? Yes, my little king. And his name is Bilbo. Bilbo, the mayor of Netherville. Okay, Bilbo, follow me. Careful, Bilbo. Get out of the way. There's royalty here. And just like that, Mr. Bilbo has arrived at his kingdom. Intruder! Bilbo, I'll stop them. Where did Bilbo go? Bilbo, what the heck? What happened to your chicken? I guess I'll just box him in for now because I don't trust him. Well, guys, it's been an amazing project, but I'm going to end the episode here. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. Bye.